Hello everybody! In today's video I'll show you what to do if you tried updating your Windows operating system and encountered this error and how you can fix it. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. This error often appears when people try to get the latest version of Windows using the Windows Update service. One of the main causes of this error are damaged components of the component-based service and package manager. As a result of the damage, the installer cannot complete the update, so the system cannot be updated without the user taking some extra steps. In addition to Windows 10, the previous versions Windows 8 and 7 are also vulnerable to this problem. There are several ways to solve the problem with downloading and installing updates with Windows Update. For example, with the System File Checker tool, which is a built-in utility for recovering damaged system files. To start it, you need to use the command prompt. To do it, type cmd in the search field and click to start it as administrator. In the command prompt window, type the following command. It starts scanning the computer, which should not be too long. When the scan is over, close the command prompt window and restart the operating system. As soon as you've done that, Windows Update should work properly and this error should disappear. If the first method didn't help you, try restarting the Windows Update service. In the search field, type Services, then find Windows Update and open it. In the window that opens, make sure the startup type is set to automatic, stop it, and then start it again. Otherwise, right click on the service and select Restart. After that, check if you encounter the same error again. The second method is restoring Windows Update components. For that purpose, you have to stop the bits and Windows Update services first. Then launch the command prompt as administrator and type the following commands one by one. After that, rename backup folders of distributed software by using the following commands. After that, re-register all files of the bit service and Windows Update with the set of commands below. After re-registration, stop the services that have been suspended before. You can find the list of all commands in the description under the video. To save the trouble of typing all of them one by one in the command prompt, it's better to create a bad file with these commands. You can watch one of our videos to see how to create such a file, and the link is below under the video. If the error is still there, the next thing you can do is to restore your system. However, it is only possible if you have configured system protection options and created a restore point for your system drive. Type RSTRUI in the search field to use this function, then click Next, choose the latest restore point, then Next and Finish. You will see a warning uh, that system recovery can be stopped only after this process is over. Choose Yes to start the restoring process. The computer will restart and begin the operation at once. Wait until the process is over. If you still see this error on your screen, use the Deployment Image Servicing and Management tool. This tool works from the command prompt, so start it as administrator and type the following command. This process takes some time, so wait until it is over. 
For correct work, the computer should be connected to the Internet. To eliminate this problem, you can also use the standard troubleshooter utility. Go to Settings, Update and Security, Troubleshoot. Find Windows Update and click on Run the Troubleshooter. The system will start, will start searching for problems, and if there are any, you can fix them by clicking here. If integrated utilities fail, here is one free tool for correcting Windows errors. The only disadvantage is that it doesn't have any multilingual support, so English only. However, anyone regularly dealing with restoring computers back to normal will understand the many items. You can download the program from the official website by following the link below this video. Start the program and accept the license agreement. Go to the, to the tab Repairs and choose Open Repairs. You will see a warning saying that you haven't started the program in safe mode and that in this case third-party programs like your antivirus may get in the way when you try to correct errors. You can safely close this warning. Here, choose Windows Updates and click Start Repairs. After that, the process of correcting errors will begin. When it is over, you will be suggested to restart the system for the changes to take effect. Also, this problem can be caused by a virus, so check your computer for, for malware. Visit our channel to watch a good video about removing any viruses. Finally, if all the tricks didn't work, the only thing left to do is to reinstall or reset the operating system. Visit our channel for detailed video guides about it, and you can find the links in the description below as before. And that is all for now. Post a comment to let us know which method helped you solve the problem and what other methods you know. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!